This is an origin story. All these stories are true. May I say that I often think that my life makes a much better story than it does a lived experience. There's always that moment when you finally figure out who you are. You know, I always dreamed of the perfect goth girl, but I never really believed such a thing could exist for real. Goth girl? I don't know what that means. I never have. I mean, I get that Polly Perrette gets called that a lot, and I know plenty of people who refer to themselves as goth. But aside from apparently doing a lot of business at Hot Topic, I have no idea what that means. Wait, what? I don't know. But you, you live in an old Gothic Revival Church. It was an honor and a privilege to live there. Built by 19th century industrialists to fulfill his beloved wife's dying wish. It really was built by Henry Burden for his wife Helen. That's haunted? And it is haunted. I kept telling Azzy to do something about the fence. But she was all right with innocent victims. Your bedroom windows are stained glass. I still miss those windows. There are vultures on the roof! Oh, there really were, too. The most glorious vultures. They'd come wheeling down across the sky, and I used to lie on my back in the grass, watch them for hours sometimes. These are all photos I took of them then. The guitar player from The Fucking Cure is renting a studio here. That's 100% true. <laughs> the guitar player from The Fucking Cure was renting a studio at the castle. There's even a wicked troll here. Okay, yeah, that was my landlord, and probably the less said about that, the better. But um, I will say I was sorely tempted to use the actual video footage of these events in this short. But I just, I don't know. I think she has her own demons. You spent all winter painting dead racehorses. Your walls are filled with paintings of skeletons and internal organs. Right now, you're painting crows and dead trees. Let us reflect for a moment, upon the menagerie of beings with whom you cohabitate. Starting with your little black familiar there. Is that a bat? You've got a big old sewer rat named Algernon. That you rescued as a baby from the jaws of a nameless black cat who sulks around this place with you. One of your buddies is a literal ghost. Oh, I have so many ghosts. You're stoically dragging around your copious addiction issues and in constant struggle with actual, real mental illness, not just the social media oversheer kind. You frequently talk to the dead. You're perpetually suicidal, but too listless to do anything about it. Your wrists are scarred from past attempts, but you simply became too bored with the whole idea to proceed and abandon the project. Okay, yeah, maybe. You are chronically depressed. You still mourn your loved one who died 10 years ago. And, in fact, you're wearing an amulet you made from two bullet casings filled with his ashes. You are, without a doubt, the most goth girl ever. <laughs> I still don't know what goth really means. But he was right about everything else. <laughs>